In Big Lake, a colleague tells us the woman found dead in her home this morning was a city council member. Authorities are investigating her death as a homicide. Danny Spiewak is live tonight with what we know. Danny? Well, Randy, investigators here in Big Lake are still blocking off this street where the homicide happened earlier this morning, and it has really shaken the Big Lake community. As you mentioned, a city council member here in Big Lake has identified the victim of the homicide as a colleague. The site of a homicide investigation in Big Lake unsettled this neighborhood near Lake Mitchell. Police say it stemmed from a 911 call when a man reported that his adult son indicated he had just killed his mother. It's, it's got to be tough for the people in the family. A Big Lake City Council member identified the victim as fellow council member Rose Johnson, who had been appointed in January 2019. She was a great person who, who cared about the, the community of Big Lake and, and uh, stood up for her beliefs and uh, always came prepared. Council member Paul Kinnear just saw Johnson at a meeting Wednesday night. You say goodbye, you, you don't expect that to be the last time that you're ever going to see someone. And I guess it's always a reminder to all of us to, you know, appreciate those people that are in our life. Police say they arrested the suspect, a 20-year-old, at the scene and took him into custody without incident. Neighbors are sending well wishes to the family. You just have to send prayers to them. Hope everything goes well through all this. Granted, it's going to be a very tough time for most likely a pretty long time, I think. You just got to hope all ends up the best well. it can for them. And tonight, that 20-year-old suspect is listed on the Sherburne County Jail roster. And according to jail records, he's being held on a first-degree murder charge premeditated. But he hasn't been charged yet, so we have uh, not been naming him. Back to you. All right. Thank you, Danny.